there's a small group that I'm a part of, and uh, some of the people said, hey, let's study the book of Acts. And I thought, wow, I've never actually gone through Acts. It could be a real challenge uh, for multiple reasons. Number one, my dad has never written a commentary on on Acts, and, and uh, usually when I'm studying and whatnot, his commentaries are you know, some of the things that I always go to first. What does my dad say on this? So, you know, then I kind of glean from him. I can see his bibliography and I can go and kind of jump from there, right? So it would be very difficult not to be able to, for me personally, it would be a, it would be a test of, of what I, of my research uh, abilities to start in, you know, in a different place because my dad hasn't written on, on Acts. He has written on Acts, but it was back in the 80s when he was in the Christian church. Um, and so I thought, yeah, okay, well, well, that would be, that'd be interesting and good. So I started doing my own study and <clears throat> one of the first places that I started was in the ESV study Bible, as I usually do. And, and the reason why is because the ESV study Bible, um, if you have one, they're really helpful. They, uh, have usually, I don't know, maybe eight pages before the book begins that talks about author, time, um, setting, uh, you know, where the theme of the book, all these kind of things. And so I thought, well, okay, the, you know, a lot of the time I'll, I'll start there and just kind of, and it's usually a real brief overview. And one of the things that uh, it said was that the Western text has 10% more. Now, I was blown away by that. Now, I, I'll talk about what that means here in a few few minutes. But uh, this is not the first time that I've encountered the Western text because the Western text, which uh, the only Greek Western text that we have, and let me, I'm going to explain what I mean by Western text, is uh, a codex uh, that is uh, signified by D, um, and uh, it's called Codex Bizet. Um, it, it's some. It was discovered by a man named Beza. And uh, Beza was a, a theologian in the during the Reformation, a good theologian by that by the way, he was a very good theologian, and uh, he rediscovered uh, Beza, and uh, and that's why it's called Codex Beza. Anyway, so um, I've I've already kind of dealt a little bit with with this codex and uh, some of the inter interesting things that pop up in this, and the reason why is because in um, in Luke twenty two nineteen, 19, uh, the Western text actually leaves out the part where it says, uh, this is the blood of the covenant, do this in remembrance of me. And that's what I'm writing my, uh, a lot of my, my thesis on, this specific part. So I've had to actually interact with this. So um, a little bit about text traditions, and then I will kind of punt this off to you. Um, basically, we today have predominantly three main text traditions. We have the Augustinian tradition. The Augustinian tradition would be codexes like uh, Codex Sinaiticus, Codex uh, Vaticanus, Codex Ephraimi. Uh, these are the codices that Bibles like the ESV, the NASB um, are based on. And so this is the text tradition that they're using to translate the Bible that you have in your hands. Um, predominantly, they're using what is called the Augustinian tradition. Some people also say, say things like uh, the Eastern tradition, but it, Augustinian tradition is, is what we would deem this. Then you have the, uh, um, oh man, what's it called? <laughs> what's the second main tradition? KJV is, is, uh, is based on the second tradition. Uh, majority text, thank you. The M, okay, yeah, MT. So majority the, text, the majority what? text, the majority text is uh, usually later and later, uh, it's a later text tradition. So we're talking about 10th century uh, CE is when the uh, majority text starts to, th this is where all these uh, these texts are from. And uh, this text tradition is where we get the KJV and, and the new King, King James Version is where uh, is they use the majority text. And then you have the Western text. And the Western text is very, um, not nearly as well known. And the reason why is because nobody really uses it which is surprising. The interesting thing about the Western text is that uh, we know that it's early. We know it's a very early tradition. And one of the reasons that we know that is because church fathers, early church fathers, uh, third century and beginning of third century quote this, you know, they, they use quotes out of what would be considered the Western text. Now, we don't actually have a Western text until the late 4th to early 5th century, and that's Codex D. That's Codex Bizet. Don't miss any clips from Messiah Matters by clicking the subscribe button. 
Also, give this video a thumbs up and share it so other people can see it too.